There was a time when this silly little creature named Glee wanted to make a game. And that's exactly what I did. I decided to make my first game in Unity. As you guys know, I've already tried engines like Godot, Scratch, and even Game Maker. If you've never heard of Unity though, it's basically the game engine behind some of our favorite titles, such as Hollow Knight, Cubhead, and even Among Us. But, hold your horses now. This game engine uses a language called C Sharp. And not to brag or anything, <laughs> but I do have some experience in Java. Why am I saying this? It's because Java and C Sharp are fairly similar in the syntax. Now that you understand a bit about Unity, it's time for the game idea. The game idea I had is basically that you play as a cube made out of jello. And here's the catch. You have the ability to spring yourself from wall to wall. And you might be asking, how did I even achieve that? A thousand years ago, there was a power given to me by the gods. I'm just messing with you. I watched the tutorial. And on top of that, it was fairly easy to do. You basically just go on Blender, you create a mesh, and then you add bones to your mesh. It has to be in like a certain pattern or a certain way. I don't know how to explain it, but Feel free to go watch the video if you want to understand the beginner side of soft body physics. Implementing this in Unity though, it was another story. It looked a little bit complicated and overwhelming, but apparently all I had to do was add spring joints to the bones that we added in Blender, which I feel like, come on, that's a very simple process for soft body physics. And this is how it looks. And if you remember the idea I was mentioning about springing yourself across the walls, this is basically how it looks. I'm actually very satisfied with the way this turned out. I think it looks close to Jello. After the basic ideas were done, I created a projectile system that every time you walk through a collider, it acts as a trigger and sends out a few balls flying at you. Speaking of that, the original idea I had for this game was that you spawn in an arena, an enclosed one, where you go around trying to dodge the projectiles and survive for as long as possible. And the longer you survive, the faster the match gets and the harder it gets. But I've learned that it's best to just pick a small project that you can work on and finish in no time. Because if you commit to a large project, it's going to be hard to finish. So for all you beginners out there, try making a small game first and then expand. Or don't, you can do whatever you want. I'm sure you noticed that we only have projectiles as obstacles. But if you see those spinny things right there, they're going to be working as obstacles too. Later on, I made a mistake. And that was adding jumping. Every time I jumped, my camera had an earthquake. And the cube even stretched out. Like, what is happening? And like the good developer that I am, and what everyone would do, I deleted. Come on, I didn't want to fix that. Later on, I did try to fix it, but it ended up blowing in my face. But I think it worked for the better. Because if you think about it, why would you need to jump in a map like this? It's better to just walk around and dodge the projectiles and obstacles. If not, the game would be too easy. Now wait, you might be wondering, what happened to the progress so far? Well, I forgot to click record. So, um, <laughs> looks like I got ahead of myself. To basically recap, I added borders, the spinny thing as you guys know. I also added some dropping obstacles that drop after an amount of time. And also I implemented a way that every time you touch an obstacle, it turns into a different color. And for the last thing, you guys know the drill, it's time for music. And after browsing for a little while, I chose this song. I know I made you guys wait a little bit too long, but here's the final game. 